guys welcome to my channel this is inky today i'll be showing you how to make a pinnable mannequin and previously i released a video on how to draft the dress form pattern so the link to the video will be in the description box so today i'll be showing you how to make the mannequin itself so the materials we are going to use to make the mannequin is gotten from our fabric straps i mean the cabbage so here is the mannequin you can see it, the outcome of the mannequin so this is the pattern you can see that the pattern has half inch sewing allowance around its its perimeter so you can you make sure you had the sewing allowance accordingly you can see the half inch sewing allowance has been added here this is for the side front and um, you can i'm trying to check it out if it's accurate just add it along the sides like so and add it all around the sides so i added to the center front also the cf means center front i added sewing allowance of half inch round also and this is for the back center back so i added sewing allowance of half inch also so i have my front block right now the side and the center front i'm going to place the side on the center front like so then i'll go ahead and stitch by half of an inch so this is the side on the center front so after i have done that i'll bring the other side also i'll place it on the center front also and then stitch along with half inch sewing allowance and this because we don't need to use the lining to turn this so we don't need any um uh, the sewing allowance can just be half an inch so if you haven't subscribed to my channel this is an avenue to do that and if you are a subscriber already i really appreciate you thanks for your support all this while god bless you so right now the, the this is for the back block this is for the back block we have the center front the center back is slitted into two you can see it's 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 because of the sewing allowance the sewing allowance of half inch is joining the center back together so you can see we have four panels for the back but for the front we have three panels so we are going to join the center back with the side panel like so and also for the other side also we're going to join likewise so this is the other side that will make the back to be complete this is another center back then this is another side back so the back block is completed like so then you place it like so so along with half inch sewing allowance so i have everything joined together now this is the front you can see this is the bust area you can see how packaged it is so this is the back you can see the butt this is where the butt will come out so it must have the right shape so that because we want to use it for a mannequin the the bomb bomb must form and even the the bust must also form so that's why you are seeing this so i explained how i did this in the pattern drafting so if you haven't watched that you need to watch it so that you understand what is going on here so i'll go ahead right now and place the the, the back block on the front block i mean the front block on the back block anyhow place it on each other and join by half of an inch on the shoulder line so the joining then after you have done that join on the side also by half of an inch since the sewing allowance i will put there is just half of an inch all through then we'll go to the collar the collar is you're going to just fold the circumference of your neckline this is on fold already then raise it up by two inches just mark two inches there mark two inches there then link it up to the folded line link it up like so to the folded line so i want to make the collar so this piece of fabric is on fold already so from there you're going to take the next circumference the next circumference of your mannequin after you have taken the next circumference then take the neck width how wide you want the collar to be i want it to be as wide as four inches i have marked four inches so then i will link the lines together 
four inches here and four inches on the center front also then i will link it together i'm going to link it together so it's as simple as this so right here i can go ahead and cut my color right now then notch the center front so that you'll be able to match the center front on the collar with the center front on the dress so i'll go ahead and do the cutting so it's as simple as a b c so having done this you open it up then you i'll, I'll bring the dress the dress then i'll start from the neckline so i'm going to match the center front on the collar with the center front on the dress so i'll go ahead and just stitch it towards the center back then do the other side also the same way stitch it towards the, the center back so here we are done with the dress making and the next is to start packing in the scraps so the scraps are gotten from the remnants from all the clothes that you cut i mean the fabric that you cut to make your beautiful dresses pants skirts and blouses so the end almost all the things i use for this tutorial is gotten from what you can what can be thrown away what you don't really need is so this tutorial is just like a recycling tutorial it's just like a recycling process so the materials that i have here they are materials that are not that does not cost me much so i used cardboard i used anger i used this stand that you're seeing is gotten from uh, a fan that is not working well the head is bad already so i just threw the head away and then this stand is about to be thrown away and i just think of let me let me use it as my mannequin stand so i'm going to pass in the hanger you can see that i have passed in the hanger if you want to, if you really want to use the hanger so then you slit your cardboard open the cardboard will be cut in a circumference shape and that will be a stopper on the neckline so for the fan stand this pipe that i'm touching you need to get another one that will go in through the mannequin itself i will explain that later and this is my gum i have the glue and i also have the gum i have the local one and i have the glue so just make sure you get any type of gum can be used here any gum that can gum your fabric to your cardboard you can use any type so this cardboard you must make sure it is very thick you can double it or you can get like four pieces so another stopper here this stopper goes in through the ham hole so i will double it here and another stopper will come in here so you can see the shape the shape must be the 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 circumference of where you want to put it exactly so i cut this as an oval shape so consider this i cut like three or four pieces of this oval shape i place one on the belly so that the belly will be flat so and this one i place it here then after i have packed in the scraps i will just put the gum and gum it up so make sure it is oval shape and this is the i made this pipe myself because i could not get any pipe so this will continue inside the mannequin it will continue inside the mannequin and it, it, uh, i now wrap it up this is gotten i made this from a cardboard also and I, I wrapped it up the reason why i wrap it up is that so that the um, the fan stand will not puncture it so the fan pipe will not puncture it that's why so i'm going to puncture a hole here which the pipe will go in into so later on while i'm packing all my scraps i will make sure i centralize the pipe later on i will show you that so packing the scraps so in these scraps you can find paper scraps you can find fabric scraps i have it a lot and i i have enough of it so i can make as much mannequin as i like from this from the scraps. so 
This is the pipe that I made. I wrap it up with a cello tape, paper cello tape, and it's very, very strong. You can see the way I'm using my hand to, to, to press it. So this is my, the stopper here. So you can see I've punctured it so that I'll be able to place it in. So just go ahead. So note the belly that I told you about. I place a cardboard on that belly. That belly must be flat. So if you did not put anything add on the belly, it will protrude. Because as, as you are packing the clothes, you must be very careful so that the places, there are some places that must not protrude. You can see the belly that it is flat. You can see what I'm trying to let you know. So I'll go ahead and place the gum. I have passed in, I have placed the, the cardboard on the on this part. So you can see. So I'll place the gum. I'll place the gum. Just make sure you put enough gum. You can see the pipe is showing. So then gum it up. And this is another stopper for the armhole. You are going to place your gum also at this point. Gum it up also. Do likewise for the other armhole. It's as simple as A, B, C. And uh, I learned that a mannequin right now goes for, in Nigeria, a mannequin, a pinnable mannequin goes for at least 35,000 Naira. So here, what I used, I only, I got the gum less than 500 Naira. Then I got the, the fabric is a jean material. So you can just buy your jean material. You can't spend more than 2,000 Naira to get a jean material. Like two yards is enough for you. So wrap it up. The one that, this stopper will be the one that will be outside. So the outer one must be wrapped up. So this is for the arm O. Wrap the last stopper up. Wrap it up with the fabric. So I just noticed that this will make it neater. So after you wrap it up, put your gum, then you place it. Then it will make it to be neat. So I'm going to place it here, then put enough gum so that it will stay. So put enough gum. So, so have, having done this, I'll go ahead to the other arm hole and do likewise. What I have done here, I will repeat the same process for the other arm hole. So as you, are, as you are packing in your fabric, make sure you consider all those places like the bust. The bust must not be flat. Pack enough fabric on the bust line and also on the bottom, on the bum bum side. Make sure the butt is well shaped and the hip also. So I'll go ahead and after I have done this, I'll go ahead on the neckline. So the circumference cardboard, the cardboard is cut in a roundish shape. Then put your glue. So, and um, I ran out of um, gum, so and I I really need to complete this tutorial, so that's why I'm using the glue. So it's not that easy to use the glue, so I will advise you to use the gum. So after it is dry, you are going to slit it open because of the hanger that is in there. So go ahead and packing more scraps on the neckline packing more scraps make sure it is firm and here you will notice that there is a mark on the neckline there is a mark on the neckline because i have gummed the neckline before then i noticed that the video is missing i couldn't get the video so i needed to i undo it again so so that you people will see what i did here so right now place your stopper you first of all place your stopper make sure you, you check the shape very well then you are now going to place the one you wrap with fabric so go ahead and place the one you wrap with fabric then place enough glue or gum so that it will stay and we have almost come to the end of this tutorial so if you haven't subscribed to my channel by now, you need to do so. And um, make sure you stay connected to this channel. 
because there are lots of interesting tutorial awaiting you on this channel and more so our online classes and physical classes are still open for registration if you are interested you can contact the numbers on the screen for more information so right now we are almost done we are almost done with the making of this mannequin so you can see how beautiful it is so we are done already so this mannequin is made i'm about to make a wedding dress so i use the my client's measurement for this mannequin so if i want to make the dress i don't have any problem this is my client's measurement so it's a customized pinnable mannequin so you can see my stand the fan stand <laughs> so right now we are almost done this is my mannequin i can go ahead now and do whatever i want to do on my mannequin very lovely and beautiful and i will see you in my next video until then take good care of yourself bye for now